Lemon Amiga Presents A Playtime Video Review another Lemon Amiga gameplay review. This time we'll be taking a look at the 1991 game PP Hammer and his pneumatic weapon. Uh, this is a, a strategy puzzle game coded by Gunner Leader who is uh, not very famous on the Amiga, he, he coded Brain Ball a couple of years later and uh, these guys are mainly German developers who have since gone on to other things. So let's input our name first of all, and this will uh, determine the, the password system as well. You can enter a password onto any level, but let's start on level 1 and see if we can get through this. We play uh, a construction worker whose uh, prime uh, weapon of choice is the pneumatic drill. Uh, you can uh, use the drill to remove light coloured blocks, uh, you can certainly see the blocks which are destructible and these will reappear after a certain amount of time. Uh, on each level we must pick up a certain number of items, uh, I've just picked up a blue key there which allows me to open this trap and the aim is to pick up all the treasures on the level and um, I have one treasure to pick up, that's it. And once the final treasure is picked up, it's on to the next one. There are three major scenarios in this game. The uh, Egyptian levels, the, the Roman levels, and this one, the castle levels. Um, and there are, as I say, a number of pickups. I've just picked up the, the blue bottle, which is Anabolica, which uh, gives you twice the jumping power, which enables me to get onto these higher platforms to reach these uh, stages. And the red bottle represents uh, your health. Uh, confusingly, the player's health is represented by the yellow bar at the bottom of the screen but it's the uh, red bottle which tops it up. If you s find the yellow bottle and select it like I've done, that's actually the invisibility, which is again quite confusing. But this allows you to uh, get through the level without any damage, uh, although the water I think still kills you. Let's just avoid it anyway, just to make sure. And the level starts off really small at the beginning, really easy, and uh, there, is, there isn't much to uh, discover, although the, the levels will introduce you to another technique of uh, trap evasion and uh, treasure finding with each new level. So by the time you get to level 10, you've really discovered a lot more about this game than you will find on the earlier levels. So let's have another look at the... Uh, the third stage now. At the top of the screen you can see a six which represents your lives, the current score and the four is actually the treasures remaining on the level which is very important. Uh, there are three treasures remaining on this level and the 333 is actually the timer which counts down. On some levels you can pick up extra time. So, um, as I said, these blocks do rematerialize after a while, so it's important to get through those as quickly as possible. Fire kills you, of course. There might be some uh, extra information scattered throughout the level, uh, information blocks, and uh, there are spiders and bats and uh, even characters later on in the game. Uh, some of these you can avoid, some of them you can't. Now we come down towards the exit of the level, you might notice a blue gem, uh, so let's pick that up. 
And then there's this, there's the bonus stage, where we have to simply pick up as much fruit as possible. And uh, the, the time on, on these stages is very tight, 14 seconds. So dig, 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 dig. It's impossible to, uh, to get too far ahead of yourself on these levels. And run, 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 run. One second, zero seconds, and I've made it. So the bonus sections not only give you an extra life, which is incredibly valuable on this game, uh, when you complete the bonus, uh, you'll, you'll find your energy level has also been topped up to maximum again, which is also helpful. You can see the exit's open, so it's simply a matter of figuring how to get there and exit the level. The levels do become harder and harder and harder uh, as the game goes on, much much larger as well and uh, as you can see the time limit is now up to 500 seconds which is uh, about eight and a half minutes which is quite long and uh, on this section I am having to trigger a number of blocks to enable me to get onto uh, this hidden part to collect those treasures. There's uh, still 25 treasures on this level to collect so already even though this is level 4 it, it is quite large and really experience is the key to this game. Uh, you can quit the level at any time by pressing escape and really uh, speed is the key. Uh, let's just destroy these blocks just to see if there are any hidden treasures in there. Sometimes there are, sometimes there aren't. You never can tell until you remove those. As I say, experience is the key. And what about this one? It's easy to get to those treasures and uh, if you select the wrong block to get rid of this one, this kind of thing can happen. Um, a state where it's impossible to get out of and uh, when the uh, when the block comes back you just can't do anything except press escape to quit the level. And what that will do is it will send you straight back to the beginning again and uh, you will have to go through it again from scratch. Which is, as you can see, this is only level 4. There are 62 levels on the entire game. So, uh, let's skip through this one to the point where we uh, reached before. Uh, we know there are no hidden things there because we've just tried it. So let's uh, see if we can get a bit further this time. We can jump from any height and it won't kill us as long as we don't land in fire or water. And, uh, which is great, to be honest. It means we can take any leap of faith and not be scared of getting killed or our energy wiped out. So that's a good aspect of the game. Some of the traps and treasures are uh, really difficult to uh, negotiate. Some of the enemies are almost impossible to get through without incurring some kind of damage. So here we are on the bottom section of this level. Remember this is still only level 4 and we've used nearly half of our time already. Uh, Make sure we don't fall into that water and get some more energy. It's important to make sure you're in a clear zone before you top up our energy and the red uh, portion refills our quarter to full. You might notice I've also picked up some oil and that speeds up our pneumatic drill capability by another 50% um, and this is really used on sections with a lot of blocks to uh, remove because the blocks do come back in a number of seconds so uh, it's possible sometimes to drill down faster than normal uh, and that means oil is important um, and that's basically it to this game uh, a simple uh, set of puzzles and um, there's as much strategy involved in this game as there is uh, platform action And it's as much about jumping uh, as it is problem solving, um, which is a, new, a unique combination, uh, particularly on the Amiga. I haven't found a game like PP Hammer before or since, to be honest. It's very unique. It can be frustrating parts until you know exactly where you're going. And the levels are large, which means if you haven't got a good memory for large levels, you might be in trouble a little bit there. So, let's get through uh, 
some more of this section. We're still on level 4 and we're still carting on with it. So the game really does leap in uh, experience uh, even this early. And we've reached a level and we've still got three treasures to find. Uh, we didn't see those treasures so they must be hidden. But if you get to the end of the level and you haven't picked up all the treasures it will take you back to the beginning to find those. And if you leave it for a while it'll have a smoke and chill out. So let's skip on through to a middle level. This is level 28 and um, it starts off uh, in, in deep trouble. This leap of faith the uh, you find one treasure and then it gives you a, a warp which takes you back but if you didn't know about that you might be a little dubious about jumping down there and sections like this you have to destroy uh, the correct items in the correct order to get to the next section of the level some bits are pretty obvious like this one uh, where you just have to duck under a few things and move to the next sections. Uh, so some bits are, are linear, some bits require taking things in a certain order. And just look at all those enemies, all those snakes. So for this section I will uh, use the oil to speed up our uh, pneumatic weapon. And there's also a treasure down below here. So. Look at that, I've managed to destroy the blocks in the wrong order, so I'm having to wait around and wait for those things to rematerialize so I can have another go. In the meantime, our pneumatic oil upgrade has worn off, meaning we can only uh, drill at a certain speed and struggling, struggling to get to that extra item. God knows how you managed to get to that treasure, and I haven't managed to get anywhere near it with that that effort. So let's skip through to level 40. So as you can see the levels now are now gold coloured to represent the Egyptian levels. So that's the difference between the Roman and the Egyptian. And let's pick up these treasures. Uh, you can see by the time limit 800 seconds which is around 13 minutes. And we find the, the first of our enemies in the shape of this guy. So how are you supposed to get rid of these? You can run around the level and all they will do is track you down like a homing missile. I've selected the uh, hooker pipe to get rid of him and all that's done is respawn him on a different section of the level. So let's see if we can work this out. How about just trying to avoid him and running underneath him. Was that gonna work? Well he can still catch us up. What about digging a pit? Well, that'll slow him down, but he can jump out of pits. So what about digging a deeper pit, and then he can't jump out of those, like this. So we'll leave him in there, and he can jump out of those as well. So what you have to do is dig, an even, dig a, pit, a, a deeper pit that he can't jump out of, uh, or risk losing a life. So this is level 40, and we've managed to get rid of him again by... Um, a block rematerialized to kill him, which is terrific, which gives us a little leeway to uh, get through the level, but here he comes again. So what are you supposed to do? What are, you, what are the best ways to get through this level? Uh, I have no answers, uh, only my lack of lives uh, shows my lack of um, skill on those levels. Uh, this is level 58 out of 62, so what are you supposed to do on these levels? Uh, destroying these blocks reveals absolutely nothing, um, so that doesn't give us, give us any clues whatsoever. There's another knight which makes our life a bit of a pain, and on this section the, the uh, controls are actually reversed. I'm actually holding the joystick to the right here to move left. Uh, duck to jump, that kind of thing, and when we do get to the information it says here is not the red key, so we obviously have to find the red key and going that way has uh, significantly, significantly given us no advantage whatsoever. So we eventually uh, have a look down there, that's a dead end leading to a trap, we don't want to go down that way, so eventually in desperation we go all the way back to the beginning of the level and what we find is um, on this platform it can be jumped and a block 
is released, revealing our red key. We've now wasted a significant amount of time, look at that time limit now, almost half of what it was originally, just finding the first key to the first puzzle to get us onto the, the second section. So here we go, let's use that key and let's find what we have. If we destroy those blocks you might find something you might not. Um, sometimes it's worth it, sometimes it isn't. But if this is the first time you've played a level, I definitely recommend removing all those blocks just to make sure. And as I remove that I find another life which definitely, definitely comes in handy on this level. But look at this, it requires a pixel perfect jump to get over this um, water section which I haven't managed to do, uh, but a good thing about this game is it usually re-materializes the player at the last puzzle completed, so usually it isn't a, a long trek to get back to the place where you died before. Uh, so let's try it again, third time lucky. This time I will move to the edge of the platform so that I'm basically balancing in mid-air, and then jump, and just about makes it. So, down to two lives, and actually skipped onto this level with a full quarter of lives. Imagine what it's like if you don't do that. So it's going to be hard to get down to that treasure. And if I use the key to close that uh, portal, it says that was a huge mistake, which means I needed not to use that key, otherwise I've just now blocked the exit to my level, and I now have to exit by pressing escape. But let's not do that, let's use up a, a the pneumatic weapon with oil to try and drill down there. And can we get there in time? No we can't. So, PP Hammer then. It's a difficult game, uh, requiring patience and understanding. Thanks for viewing our Lemon Amiga Game Guide Review.